Click the bell so you don't miss the hot reviews. Hey, what's up? Mike Jack here, Hot Reviews. So uh, just going to do a little unboxing video for you guys here. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, or any comments, just uh, leave them in the, in the live chat box on the side there. And uh, I'll answer your questions in just a moment. So I got a box here. Let's see. Let's see this box. Check it out. It's a box. It's fragile. Got to handle it with care because there's bottles in here of hot sauce. You don't want to smash those. All right. Just checking my phone here, seeing your, uh, your messages there. Not too much going on, but oh well. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll open this box in a sec here. Hopefully if some more people show up. Uh, join the chat and uh, hang out, whatevs. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get this box going here. Let's see what's in here. Give it a little cut here. Just like Christmas time. Just like Christmas. Merry Christmas. What do we got? Let's see. I wonder. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? So let's see. Uh, oh, look what we have here. Looks like a package from. Pepper North. Pepper North. A little magazine we got here from Pepper North. Got some pictures. Got some pictures of their uh, some pictures of their facility there, making some hot sauces. It's uh, Drew Stevens and Stevens. They're uh, making some awesome sauces in Oshawa, Ontario. So uh, this package, this package was actually a prize that uh, that Jamie won from uh, <clears throat> when she was on uh, when uh, when uh, sorry when Pepper North was on uh, tasting the heat. They did um, some contests, so and Jamie won. And this was her prize. Got some bubble wrap. Looks like there's a box inside the box. So wonder. What's in the box? <laughs> All right. So Pepper North Artisan Foods. Let's open her up here. We got some sauce in the box. Check it out. Look at these fancy bottles. Look at these guys. See that? That's Jamie's prize. So uh, we've had all these sauces before, but uh, pretty pumped to try them again. I'm loving these sauces. Let's see. We got uh, we got Northern Lights from Pepper North there. You see that? So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, Northern Lights there with Pepper North. Pepper North, <laughs> Pepper North treks deep into the uh, Canadian Arctic in search of the ever elusive and awe inspiring Northern Lights. For thousands of years and throughout hundreds of cultures, there have been many myths and mysteries surrounding the or uh, the uh, Aura Borealis. This Mexican style verte sauce features tamatillos, green jalapenos, poblano, and habanero peppers, 
along with pure Canadian apple cider and maple syrup. So yeah, that's a little bit about uh, Northern Lights there by Pepper North, the uh, Aura Borealis. Yeah, so uh, I've had the sauce before. You can see on the uh, the heat index there, it's say uh, two out of ten. If you can see that there, so it's not it's not a very hot sauce. I think this was the sauce that they made for beginners. So if you're uh, if you're new to the hot sauce game, uh, this is a good sauce to start off with. So uh, yeah, like it says, it's a alpino sauce. The sauce is good to uh, I think the sauce is good to replace uh, relish with because, um, yeah, you know, you want some relish, you want something hot instead of uh, pickles. It's like jalapenos. That's kind of what this sauce is to me. I, uh, I put this on, uh, on a burger for sure. Yeah, it's Northern Lights. That's the first sauce out of this box here. Let's see what other sauces are in here. We have one of my faves. We have some uh, solar flare here. That's uh, solar flare by Pepper North, Artisan Foods. Check them out. So this one here, I love because it's pineapple. I love me a pineapple hot sauce for sure. It's uh, great on uh, great on pizzas, pineapple pizzas. Like that's uh, that's what you gotta do. So let's see what it says here. Pepper North travels south to bring you Solar Flare Hot Sauce. The most powerful solar flare ever measured occurred on September 1st, 1859. Auras from the flare were visible around the world, causing many telegraph systems to be set ablaze. That's uh, pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, it says it's a uh, multi-award winning hot sauce. Features smoked pineapple, oranges, limes, and orange habanero peppers, creating the perfect combination of sweet and spicy. So yeah, it's a good uh, sweet and spicy sauce. Be good on, uh, it's good on some Asian food too. Uh, pizza for sure, yeah. I like the uh, solar flare, it's a uh, pretty awesome sauce. What else do we have in here? We have No Joke by Pepper North Artisan Foods. Check that one out. The hyena on there. It's pretty awesome. And this one here, this one's uh, it's starting to get a little bit hotter here. It's a, uh, it's a 5 out of 10 on the heat scale there. Solar flare, I guess I didn't show that one to you. It's a four out of 10, if you see that there. Four out of 10. So that's not really too hot, not too hot for me, but uh, yeah, it's a good sauce anyway. So uh, no joke, that is actually the original hot sauce from uh, Pepper North Artisan Foods. Let's see what this one says. Uh, Pepper North focuses on flavor to bring you no joke hot sauce. In ancient mythology, the hyena was portrayed as a solar animal that first brought the sun to warm the cold earth. That's cool. We harness the extreme heat of the ghost pepper, pairing it with sweet onions, roasted garlic, and fresh lime juice to bring you our most well-rounded and multi-use sauce. Yeah, I'd agree with that. This sauce, um, yeah, I've had this before. Uh, you can check out, there's a video on uh, YouTube channel you're watching right now, uh, Hot Reviews, which uh, we go through, uh, I think we go through five of the sauces. So yeah, check that one out. And you can learn more about these sauces. So yeah, this one, uh, it's really tomatoey sauce. So I think this one is great to put on uh, pasta dishes. And uh, but yeah, like it said on the on the little story there on the side, it is very versatile sauce. This is a sauce you can put on like anything. It's just um, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome sauce. Uh, 
It's made we ghost pepper Guinness. So yeah, check that one out if you get a chance. And then let's see. So the last sauce that we have here from Pepper North in this prize pack is their blueberry plague hot sauce. See that one? Check it out. Blueberry plague. This sauce here is the, uh, I think this is their best seller. Pretty sure when I talked to Drew Stevens, uh, he said that this was their, their best seller for the hot sauces. So this one here, on the heat index, it says extra hot. So um, I don't know if you saw when I showed it just there, but it's a, uh, it's a 7 out of 10 for heat. This is where their, uh, their sauces are starting to get a bit hotter here. Um, you'll see on the, uh, on the side there, uh, the panel I have set up there, there's also the Memento de Mori. That's, uh, that's one that's a bit hotter than this one here still. That's, uh, that's one of my fave sauces from uh, Pepper North for sure. One of, my, one of my fave sauces that I've done a review for this year, I would say. It's the uh, Memento de Morte. Uh, yeah, that one's a good one. It's like a, a Reaper cherry flavor, so check that one out. And then one of my favorite sauces ever by Pepper North is uh, Stargazer, uh, which is a uh, really pepper forward uh, seven pot primo uh, pepper sauce. Grab that one up as well if you can. So let's see what this one says about the, uh, the blueberry plague. Pepper North uses only the finest local ingredients to bring you blueberry plague hot sauce. During the Black Death pandemic of the 14th century, medicine men were known to travel the Silk Road using hot peppers stuffed in the end of their masks to purify the air and ward off infection. What? That's some crazy stuff, eh? Back in the day. This multi-award winning sauce features wild blueberries, pure coconut, uh, pure coconut water, and wildflower honey. So yeah. So I've, uh, I've had the sauce before, um, before before I went vegan, because this one has honey in it. But, uh, yeah, I'd say this is a good sauce. Uh, this is a good, like, dessert sauce, I'd say. It's good to, uh, I'd put this on some ice cream, I guess. And, uh, yeah, like some waffles, pancakes, stuff like that. That's what this sauce, I think, would be really awesome for. I guess you can put it on a lot of different things. Uh, I know there's some... Uh, like uh, like wing sauces or like nugget sauces that um, you know ha have like berries in them and stuff. So yeah, it'd probably be cool for that too. So there we go. That's what's in the box from uh, How Reviews Live. So what uh, what's going on? You guys have uh, questions here? I haven't really looked at the comments at all. So let's uh, let's have a look. See what you guys are saying. Got a long, long dog, long dog there, I guess. Coming in, uh, James Cushman. Hey, James, what's up? Chrissy says, hey, everyone. Hey. Ian's there saying uh, he loves Pepper North. He was lucky enough to get a bottle of Stargazer. That's awesome. Yeah, Stargazer. Check it out. It's, uh, it's my fave. Uh, one, of my, one of my favorite sauces. Period. One of my favorite uh, pepper north sauces for sure. And uh, Long Dog, what's he saying here? He's got a signed bottle of hot sauce coming in the mail from Johnny himself. From the 25 hour marathon. Oh, well, that's awesome. Good job at uh, getting some sauce from Johnny Schofield during his uh, marathon there. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, Long Dog says uh, he's tried the uh, the blueberry bravado hot sauce. That's uh, that's a good sauce as well. I'd say that they're um, they're pretty similar sauces. I'd say for sure. I think that this one's uh, 
the bravado one i think is a little more watery um this one here is like a this one's a thicker sauce for sure it's like more of a more of a more of a thick syrup and uh the bravado one's a little runny not that not saying the bravado one's not that good or anything because i like that one too i think the bravado one if i can remember because it's been a long time since i've had this sauce here uh, a long time since i've had the bravado sauce i think it's been close to close to a year or so but anyway um yeah i'd say that i think the bravado sauce is a bit hotter though than this one is but yeah there's some more sauces if you like blueberry uh, if you like the bravado sauce if you want something a little different try this one if you like this sauce you want something a little different then try bravado or get the same thing that you like do whatever you want i guess right so all right what else is going on uh Ian says, Stargazer is now made with ghosts and habanero. Do a shortage of primos. Oh. Changed the taste completely, but it's still an amazing sauce. Yeah, maybe I should... Uh, well, I'm still... I'm, I'll try it with that stuff in it. Um, I like the... Uh, I like the primo peppers one, but yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll have to give it a try and see. That's... Uh, I didn't know that. Okay, so London says, uh, what's your current go-to sauce? So, uh, yeah, like right now, I have, right now, you know, I got a bunch of sauces open. I don't know how many sauces are open in my fridge. I'm thinking like maybe about 20 or so, just because I've been doing a lot of uh, views and stuff. The one uh, I've been using a lot that it's almost gone now is um, Fear This by Hellfire Hot Sauces. That's kind of been my go-to. Um, I also had a bottle open of uh, Fiery Fool, but I've used that one up now. Um, what I'm just starting to use a little bit more because I got a. We have a video. Uh, hopefully, I can get it out for Monday. Um, is uh, Salem's Lot scary sauces? I've been using a lot of those lately. Uh, you'll see if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a lot of pictures of their sauces being used on food. So. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, they have one, uh, their hottest sauce is really, really hot. And it's uh, it's one that you should try if you like uh, the really hot sauces. It's an all natural sauce called Cremation. Uh, <laughs> and I've been putting it on some food uh, recently just to, try to, uh, just to try to spice things up a lot. And man, it is hot. It is, it is really hot sauce. Um, the Salem's Lot sauces, they also have the uh, sauce called do fear the reaper which is uh, a carolina reaper pineapple sauce i'm loving that one too uh i've been putting that on uh on some pizza stuff like that recently uh some uh like rice dishes uh stir fry stuff like that and then uh another one by them that i really like is called uh what's it called it's called uh uh i think it's called casper the scary ghost i'm pretty sure so um, that one, it's uh, ghost peppers, of course, and uh, uh, peaches, or no, sorry, pears, and uh, a few other things. And uh, yeah, I've liked using that as a dessert sauce recently. I put that on some, some waffles and stuff like that, and yeah, that's really good. Um, what else have I been using recently? Oh, another good sauce is uh, there's uh, Hurtberry Farms, which is... Uh, it's uh, Drew Jacobson, who had uh, Drew's, uh, uh, Drew's Chili Company in, uh, from Alberta. They, like, uh, he moved his uh, operation over to Port Perry and has uh, Hurtberry Farm now, which is a pretty new company. But it's, uh, they got two uh, experienced chefs working there making the sauces. And uh, all their sauces are super great tasting sauces. Um, but the one I've been using the most by them, it's called uh, Starless which is a really, uh, it's really dark hot sauce. I don't have, I don't remember all the ingredients to it, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like a, like a smoky barbecue flavor that you get from it. And, uh, they just wanted to make a really dark sauce. Uh, Drew was telling me just for the, um, like, it's kind of like just a, just a dark, like starless night is starless. That's what, uh, that's where the name comes from. But yeah, it's uh, it's a great sauce to put on 
uh, hamburgers. So, uh, I've been using it, or uh, or veggie burgers. You know, that's what I eat. But uh, the veggie burgers, uh, yeah, Starless. I just use it instead of uh, barbecue sauce. So yeah, it's uh, it's like barbecue sauce, but like hotter and uh, really tasty, really delicious sauce. I uh, to be honest, I usually I have a picture I just put on Instagram of me putting a bunch of different sauces on a burger. That's what I like to do just to make it uh, super hot. So the Starless isn't like a, a crazy hot sauce. Um, I'm trying to remember what peppers are in it. I think it's uh, I think it's habaneros, but. Um, yeah, I put some uh, something something by Hellfire. All their sauces are pretty hot that I've had so far, so throw that on there. Some Salem's Lot uh, Monstard, uh, which is their spicy mustard. Uh, that's a really good one. I've been using on burgers too. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a little bit. It's a bit hot and it's got um, like horseradish in it. So the horseradish is kind of like, and the mustard just kind of like hits you in the nose, just kind of brings the spices up to your nose if you know what i'm saying so yeah i like that that's uh it's pretty awesome so uh anybody else have any questions comments concerns any concerns any concern well let's answer some questions and then uh then i'm going to take off i don't really have much uh much else to uh to show you guys right now or say or do um See. Jamie's there. She's saying she loves the uh, the cranberry and the cherry sauces too. Yeah, like there's a good, uh, real good cranberry sauce made right here in London, Ontario, my hometown, by uh, Slim's Pepper Company. He makes a uh, cranberry sauce. Also has blueberries in it, which is um, yeah, it's awesome for your uh, holiday feasts with uh, Easter coming up. It's a good sauce to get for that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's also good uh, dessert sauce as well. Uh, put that on some ice cream. He's, uh, he's selling it over at the, uh, the fritter shop, over at the, uh, the market there. Uh, so people are putting it on some fritters, uh, which yeah, fritters are, fritters are pretty awesome. I got some fritters there the other day and I put some sauce on it and that's gonna be in a future video, but it was not, the Slim's cranberry sauce, but yeah, that would be a good sauce to put on some fritters for sure. Has anybody out there had uh, hot sauce fritters? You ever have uh, fritters on your hot sauce? How about a fritter that's filled with hot sauce? What about that? Isn't that a great idea? Some fruity, imagine just like a, instead of just like the fruit filling, just a fruity hot sauce in there. That would be awesome. So, uh, yeah, if anybody makes that, let me know, and I will eat it. I will eat it for sure. What else is going on? Ian says, uh, Hellfire doesn't make a bad sauce. Great company. So, uh, yeah, I'd agree with that for sure. I've only had uh, three of the Hellfire sauces so far, and every one of them has been pretty awesome. My favorite, I'd say it's, it could be my favorite hot sauce right now, is uh, the fear of this by Hellfire? Everybody's got to try that sauce. Um, as long as uh, as long as you can handle the really hot sauces, that's a, a real, pretty hot Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Um, Fiery Fool. Uh, both those sauces were on uh, the show Hot Ones. If you watch that, and uh, yeah, Fiery Fool. Um, on the front of it, it says uh, uh, hottest, the hottest hot sauce without extract, something like that. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's definitely up there. It's definitely one of them, and that's uh, a great sauce too. And then the other sauce I tried was uh, Pure Hell, which isn't as hot as the other two, but still one of their hottest sauces, a really hot hot sauce. It's um, it's got a lot of, uh, like it's made with flavor. I like putting that one on some, uh, some pasta, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I did a review not that long ago. Maybe, maybe it's a couple months now on those uh, Hellfire sauces, but I definitely need to try some more. They got a new sauce uh, coming out for the new Hellboy movie. I wanna check out the Hellboy movie. I, might, I don't know if I'll see it in theaters because there's a bunch of stuff I wanna see, but I'll check it out eventually. And uh, yeah, but if you're super into that, you want a hot sauce, that's like uh, the movie Hellboy and has, uh, you know, featuring the characters and stuff like that. Also made by Hellfire Hot Sauce, amazing company. Uh, they're selling that right now, so 
Yeah, check that out if uh, you haven't already. They got some hot sauces with some cool names too. The I want I want to I want to try, but I don't know if I want to try it because I think it's going to be a good hot sauce. But uh, it's Hellfire, so it's going to be. But I might just want it just for the awesome name. Like there's one called uh, Fireia, so uh, it's like a fiery diarrhea, I suppose. Uh, and then uh, for some reason I find that appealing. I want to check that out. And uh, what's the other one? They got ones like uh, one's called like. I think it's called the devil's last blast or something like that and it looks like a devil's gonna there's uh the devil and it looks like he's gonna crap himself so that one uh, looks pretty awesome too uh i kind of want to check that out uh don't really know why but i'm just uh, i'm just drawn to it i suppose so what else what else are people saying lawn dog has a uh bottle of fear this in front of him right now that's awesome give her bottle of zombie apocalypse for breakfast yeah zombie apocalypse that's another one of my fave sauces it's a uh, it's ghost pepper sauce but i'm pretty surprised at how hot it is for a ghost pepper sauce um it's got got a, a carrot base I think that my favorite thing for the zombie apocalypse is to put it on pizza. It's a really good uh, pizza sauce. I don't know why. Uh, for some reason, I find carrot sauces go well on pizza. So um, I don't know why, though, because you don't put carrots on pizza. So why is a carrot hot sauce good on pizza? That's what I ask myself. Um, but yeah, did it, and it was good. So I just keep doing it. So. Yeah, for sure. That's another one. I need to try more of the, uh, that's a hot sauce by Torchbear Hot Sauces. And they're one of the sauces, one of the sauce companies that I really, really, really want to try more of their sauces because I've only had the Zombie Apocalypse. But they have one that's uh, kind of a, a legendary sauce for super heat called the Rapture. Uh, First We Feast put that in their top 10 hottest sauces you can buy. It was a list that came out, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so. And uh, yeah, that was on there. And I almost got it a few times, but just uh, things didn't happen. But I'm hoping they're gonna be at the Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. Uh, they haven't posted their vendor list. I haven't seen Torch Bear say anything that they're gonna be there, but they go to a lot of the Hot Sauce Expo. So wanna check them out, try the Rapture. They got a new sauce on Hot Ones as well. They're, uh, what is it, the Reaper, is it Reaper Garlic Sauce? I'd like to try that one. And there's another Reaper sauce that they just put out recently. I forget the name of it, but uh, I want to try that as well. Uh, I want to try a bunch of the Torchbearer sauces. Hopefully they're at the Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. Again, I'm checking their list. I'm checking their website every day to see if they've uh, updated their vendor list, but they haven't yet. I think that it's because they're concentrating on the New York Hot Sauce Expo, which is next weekend. Unfortunately, I can't attend that one. But uh, yeah, I'm sure once that is done and wrapped up, they're gonna post their vendor list and I'm super pumped to find out all the vendors that are gonna be at Chicago Hot Sauce Expo. If you guys are going to Chicago Hot Sauce Expo, let me know in the comments. So what else are people saying in the comments? Uh, Lawn Dog says on uh, the, current, the current hot ones, he has uh, Hot sauces seven and nine that are on there. So number nine is Fear This, I know. Number seven, what's the numbers? What is the number seven sauce? Um, I'm not sure what it is right now. I don't remember, but uh, okay, cool. Ian says he uh, misses the smoked Reaper saffron honey from Drew's Chili. Well, now that he's got a, I think before when it was Drew's Chili, he just did like kind of single batch stuff, just uh, just made different stuff all the time, tried to see like what people were into, stuff like that. And now with uh, Herberry Farms, he's putting out like, uh, I, think it's a, uh, I, I think it's a bigger operation that they have now. So they're putting out sauces that they can like put out and like remake and, and people get to hold on to them. But I'm sure that some of his like recipes from before, he's gonna like bring back with, with Hurtberry, <clears throat> sorry, with Hurtberry Farm. So, uh, I don't know, 
Drew Jacobson's a cool dude. Like, just uh, just send him a message and say, like, hey, you should bring something like this out with Herberry Farm, and maybe he'll do that. So check it out. I actually didn't try any of the uh, Drew's Chili Company sauces. I always wanted to, but I just never did. There's just other hot sauce around. So anyway... Lawn Dog says, do I think the dark sauce is moly based? I don't think it, I don't think so. Cause I think it would be, like if it was guacamole, I think it would be like a thicker sauce. And it's not really that thick of a sauce. It's just, um, I'm trying to remember what else is in it, but it's like, it's a dark, yeah, it's a dark hot sauce. Um, yeah, it's not guacamole though. Lawn Dog has asked me if I know how to crossbreed peppers, and I don't. I don't know really anything about growing peppers at all. I just know stuff about eating peppers and hot sauce. So yeah, I don't. I, I've learned. I'm trying to learn a little bit, but yeah, I, I'm not the. I'm not the guy to go to for that sort of thing. I like grew peppers for the first time last year. Uh, what did we grow? There was. I think there was two. Was there two reaper plants? and one ghost pepper plant or maybe two ghost pepper plants and uh we had something else i think we had like i think they were like uh like some thai chilies or what was it or no it was some no it was banana peppers yeah i think it was banana peppers we had but uh yeah uh we grew those last year i'm gonna try to grow some again this year um i don't know i might uh yeah i need to get better at the gardening um yeah my my pepper plants weren't really all that impressive to be honest that i grew um but uh yeah my brother-in-law grew some really awesome peppers he got these he got some kind of crazy fertilizer um that was used for growing mushrooms or oh here's my kitty ah! so uh <laughs> yeah he said he got some crazy fertilizer that was used for growing mushrooms before he used it to grow peppers and he had like big like a big like bush of carolina reapers and uh habaneros and that and he he doesn't eat them he can't uh he can't eat spicy food at all so he gave them all to me so that was cool um it was just like at the end of the season he just like had a huge bush and i still have to be honest i still have a lot of them frozen in my freezer i need to do something with those but yeah that's my that's my gardening tip for you if that's even a tip i don't think it is but yeah anyway so so far he would agree with the hellfire company this is long dog again make some of the best sauces can't go wrong yeah oh everything spicy says okay it's called uh, lucifer's last blast that's what i was trying to say before um i, I think i said what did i say devil's last blast yeah lucifer's last blast what is it kitty look at Look at kitty, you're on the you're on the video, see? See? Do you see? Who's that? <laughs> All right, so Lawn Dog says uh, when I say uh, tomato based sauces or taste, he automatically thinks of pizza. So yeah, I'd say so too. I think uh, tomato-based sauces are good on I Italian food. Um, I put it on pasta because I kind of like, um, I don't know, it'd be good on pizza too, but I like different things on pizza, I guess. I'm one of those guys who likes uh, the pineapple pizza, so I like pineapple sauces on pizza, but if I didn't have that, then yeah, tomato -y sauce would be good. What is it, kitty? So, yeah, what else are people saying here? What about Hellfire t-shirts? They're awesome looking. I agree, Long, Long Dog. Uh, that's, uh, I think I'm saying your name right. Yeah, the Hellfire has some awesome t-shirts. Uh, if they're at Chicago Hot Sauce Expo, I'm thinking about buying a t-shirt. I'm, uh, I'm a minimalist, though, right? So I don't, I try not to buy, I try not to buy a lot of stuff. And I have a lot of t-shirts right now and I kind of feel bad buying another one because I could be spending 
the money on something else. But yeah, I really like the t-shirts. There was a, a video I just posted last week from the Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expo. And the one dude in the video who's, uh, it's from the pepper eating contest. He uh, was wearing a really awesome Hellfire t-shirt. I was envious. I kind of wanted his t-shirt. Um, but I didn't take it from him because that would be very mean. And uh, yeah, he's a guy who came with um, came with Claude de Bay, if you know him. He's a uh, he's a pretty popular ch chili head on Facebook. He has been for a long time from Montreal, and he has a huge collection of limited edition Hellfire hot sauce bottles, like they're ones that are uh, like ceramic, like. Um, and they have hot sauce in them. He's got them on like shelves and stuff like that. Just like really crazy, beautiful uh, limited edition bottles. If you haven't seen the limited edition bottles that Hellfire makes, check out uh, like is it hellfirehotsauce.com or just Google Hellfire Hot Sauce. Go to their website and they have some uh, pretty sweet pictures. Or uh, if you're on Facebook and some of the Facebook groups like uh, like there's one just called Hot Sauce, or there's For Love of Hot Sauce, or there's one that I made, the uh, Canadian Hot Sauce and Chili Pepper Fan Club. And you see Claude DeBay in there. He posts his pictures all the time. He's got a pretty awesome bottle collection, a lot of sweet Hellfire Hot Sauce bottles. What else? What else are people saying? Ian's talking about Pex Peppers, Atomic Purple. It's hot for a ghost pepper sauce. They make ghosts hotter than ghosts. Well, that's cool. I need to try some more uh, Pex pepper sauces as well. I haven't had the uh, Atomic Purple. That sounds like a pretty good hot sauce. Um, I've only had one of their hot sauces. What was it? Um, I did a review for it. I should know what it was called. But yeah, I've only had, oh, it was called To the Moon. That's the sauce. I've had that one. Um, again, a lot of the uh, a lot of the pecked pepper sauces have honey in them because they, you know, their uh, mascot or their logo is a bee. But uh, being vegan, I don't uh, I don't really I don't really do that. So um, I don't really do the honey. But yeah, to the moon was at the time I think because I, I was talking to uh, to Gregory Peck a little bit on Facebook. He told me that was the hottest. Uh, vegan hot sauce that they had was to the moon at the time so i think they have some more newer ones uh that i'm gonna try at some point so yeah pex peppers coming up maybe everything spicy says have you tried any grunt sauces from ryan preston his scorpion xx is delicious no i have not tried any grunt sauces i hadn't heard of them until you just mentioned them now but now that i know they're on my radar i'm gonna have to check those out because i do like scorpion hot sauces sometimes uh i enjoy the scorpion sting and uh yeah uh scorpion xx sounds like a great sauce with the little information that i know about it but yeah i'm gonna have to try that one and Oh, Long Dog says uh, the number seven sauce on Hot Ones is, uh, he says Zombie Apocalypse, but I think he means the um, the other Torch Bear hot sauce, uh, which is, I think it's the Garlic Reaper, right? That's on Hot Ones right now. Okay, Kitty, you're kind of you're kind of in the way. You're like, oh, Kitty. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, he was touching the buttons. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. On Hot Ones right now, I think it's the Garlic Reaper sauce that they have on there by Torchbearer. The Zombie Apocalypse was on, like, season four or five or something like that. And then they had the uh, Son of Zombie sauce, which is their less hot version of Zombie Apocalypse. If you're into less hotter sauces, I'm not, so I'm going to stick with the Zombie Apocalypse. And I'm going to try some more of those torch bear sauces I was talking about. So, uh, oh, 
Oh, actually, uh, Jamie's correcting me here. She says uh, it is moly based, long dog. So I apologize that uh, Starless Hot Sauce is moly based. I didn't. I didn't know. I, yeah. I haven't done an actual review video for it where you know we read the ingredients and stuff like that. So I guess it wasn't in my head. But yeah, it's uh, it's moly based. So check that out. If you like moly based sauces, Starless by Herdberry Farm. Long Dog also says, uh, how do my homegrown peppers taste? Uh, they taste pretty good, but not really as good as other people's peppers are that they grow, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've had some good tasting peppers because um, other people are better than growing them than I am. I don't know, like mine, they were, I suck at, okay, I suck at growing peppers, okay? I'm just going to say it. I'm, I suck at it. Like I, like the peppers that I grew, I like, you know, when you cut them open and you know, like other reviewers are like, Hey, like check out the inside of these peppers. It's all like, uh, you know, the placentas and stuff like that. And mine just didn't really have much of the placenta and seeds part in the middle. So yeah, they were kind of, I only really had like, uh, you know, cause I mean, I'm in Canada too. It's a little colder here. It's easier to grow the peppers in the hotter places right so but that's that's not a good excuse like some canadians grow like awesome peppers i'm just like you know i'm uh i don't know how to grow them so what was i saying yeah i cut mine open there's no like real placentas and stuff in them i had like maybe like i don't know like only maybe like four or five like good peppers during the season and then at the end uh, just b before the frost was coming i just cut all the green ones off and put them in a uh, paper bag to like ripen them up more and I got some more that way so um yeah that's how my turned out they didn't really they didn't really grow like awesomely big I had um like uh I just did that uh, Guinness World Record where I broke the record or set the record for most ghost peppers eaten in a minute at the Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expo and I got the peppers for that from Pepper North and he had if you watch the video, the ghost peppers are like double size. They are huge and they were hot. They were the hottest ghost peppers that I had ever eaten. A lot of the, I've heard a lot of people say, and maybe it's true, I don't know, that the, uh, the smaller the pepper, the hotter the pepper. But these peppers were hot. They were, you know, I've done other challenges with ghost peppers before. I did the thing where I ate uh, 30 ghost peppers, uh, setting the record for uh, most ghost peppers ever eaten. And uh, those ghost peppers were pretty hot, but you know I have a high tolerance for the heat, so I wasn't really feeling those ones until uh, till maybe like 10 or 12 peppers in. That's when they started like uh, starting to hurt me quite a bit. Um, but when I did the Guinness record with these like double-sized ghost peppers, they were hurting pretty much right away. Uh, they were really hot, and uh, yeah, the it was messing me up i think if i had like some peppers that weren't as hot maybe i could have eaten more in a minute i don't know but uh those were really hot peppers he knows how to he knows how to grow them over there at pepper north like um we figured out the the average weight of them because you know i had to weigh them for the guinness record and everything the average weight was uh 9.7 grams and for other guinness records um like for when i did the record for fastest time to eat three ghost peppers in the guinness record rules it said each pepper had to weigh five grams so this these ghost peppers weighed like like twice like the required weight for um other guinness records so that's uh i'd say that's a pretty big pepper so anyway what else what else do people want to say Da, 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 da. Okay, so yeah, Long Dog is explaining to me what uh, moly based means. So I guess I didn't really, I guess I didn't really know what that was. He's talking about the uh, the El Yucateco um, uh, chili habanero black is a moly based. It's like a Mexican traditional dark hot sauce. So yeah, I guess I didn't know that. But now I know, and knowing is half the battle. 
So, yeah, I guess that's an only base. To be honest, I haven't tried that um, El Yucateco. I've tried all their other sauces. We have a bottle of that sauce, though, that we brought back from Mexico um, that I will try. Long Dog loves the scorpion peppers and the sauces they make from them. That's what I say. It's like having your tongue stung by a scorpion. It's like that sting. It's like a, this is the tail of the scorpion. It's just like, duh, like right into your tongue. Uh, yeah, that's how the, uh, the scorpion sauces, scorpion peppers taste to me too. The uh, one that I had that was really awesome was the, uh, the Matooks. Or, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Matooks or Mat Matox or whatever. It's like a hot sauce company from Trinidad. And that's where the tr uh, the Trinidad scorpions are from, right? So they make a uh, really good scorpion sauce. I was making the uh, the cauliflower wings, stuff like that. I think we did a video a long time ago with that sauce and some cauliflower wings. I think it was a I think it was for last not last Valentine's Day, the Valentine's Day before. Jamie and I made a video where we had some of that, and uh, yeah, it's a good sauce for sure. My uh, I think my parents brought that back for me actually after a cruise so yeah that was pretty nice of them thanks mom and dad so what else what else are people saying here da, 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 da. what other hobbies do i have what other things do i enjoy doing well thanks for asking lawn dog so i don't know my hobbies i guess with a lot of people maybe not my hobbies change all the time, so I'm into different stuff at different times. Uh, right now, I'm really into the hot peppers, the pepper eating, obviously. So, yeah, I'm trying to, uh, you know, spend a lot of my time doing the hot reviews right now. Now that I'm trying to up 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 the uh, up my game on the videos that are being released each week. Got uh, some weeks I'm having three videos come out. I was doing just one for a while, um, basically because I was just doing other things. I didn't really want to want to film with uh, practicing, uh, like with uh, eating hotter stuff, speed eating, getting stuff organized for uh, helping out with Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expo and uh, another event I did, the uh, Evening of Heat, where I did a Guinness record there. So I was doing a lot of that stuff. So, um, you know, still pepper eating, stuff like that, but not actual hot reviews. Now I'm filming a lot of videos. Um, I don't know, I have about 15 or 16 film that I haven't had a chance to edit yet. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, on Monday, we should have the, uh, the Salem's Lot Scary Sauces review video. That's going to be the, uh, the scariest video that we've ever put out. Uh, trust me, there's uh, some good uh, surprises in there. It's pretty scary, pretty pumped for people to watch that one. Uh, that one should come out uh, Monday at 8.30. That's when uh, Monday, Mondays and Wednesdays at 8.30, that's when I release videos. And they have, uh, it's like a live premiere video. So it'll have a little chat on the side of the screen. Uh, the people can chat and I will answer any questions, comments, stuff like that. I'll chat in there too. I'll be type, typing some stuff up while you watch the video. And yeah, it's, uh, it'll be pretty good. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my main hobby. Um, Another hobby that I was getting into quite a bit, but uh, because I've been editing so many videos, I haven't been doing it much lately, is uh, the retro gaming. If you're into retro gaming, um, I was playing uh, a lot of games. I got a, um, I got a Super Nintendo Classic that uh, I did some, some, some stuff to it, or maybe I shouldn't even be telling you what I did to it. But anyway, I have a way of playing... Uh, a lot of different games, um, more than what comes with the uh, the Super Nintendo Classic. So I've been playing uh, some, uh, of course, Super Nintendo games, some uh, Nintendo games, some Sega Genesis games, even some Game Boy games, and some arcade classics. So um, some of the some of the coolest games I played are like arcade games because I don't know when I was a kid I had these. Uh, you know, I had the systems at home, like the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, you know, and uh, what else did I have? I had the, like, 64, 
Uh, I had those systems growing up. And, uh, you know, um, for a brief period of time in my hometown, there was a, an arcade in the mall. And I'd, uh, whenever we were at the mall, I wanted to go. Sometimes my uh, parents would let me go to the arcade and just, like, look at the games while they were, like, shopping at the stores and stuff like that. And, uh, but if I wanted to play them, my parents didn't want to give me quarters because they'd say, like, oh, we don't need to put money into this. You have, like, uh, the games at home and stuff. So I've kind of, uh, you know, uh, soothed my inner child a little bit by uh, getting some of these arcade games onto uh, my Super Nintendo Classic and playing them. Like, uh, one that's pretty awesome is the Simpsons arcade game. It is uh, an amazing game. I think it came out, I think it said it came out during the Simpsons, like, second or third season and it's uh it's pretty sweet and the graphics are amazing like it looks like you're uh it looks like you're playing a cartoon it's pretty amazing for a 90s graphics i should say like they probably do cooler stuff now but i'm not really into uh like modern video games like i don't have a uh any of the new generation systems i have a playstation 3 still but the only game that i've kept is uh like one of the hockey games i think it's like uh I think it's NHL 2014, I think. It's the one with Martin Berdur on the cover. So I'm loving the, uh, I love hockey video games. I'm pretty good at them. If uh, you play me, I will beat you. I'll beat you really bad. So uh, yeah, but there's lots of sweet games that I have on this thing. Um, there's an awesome uh, X-Men arcade game that came out in the 90s. And it is amazing to, uh, to play through on my TV now. Um, the cool thing, cool thing with these games too, with the beat 'em ups. Uh, well, for like any of the arcade games, I guess if you're, um, you know, playing the retro games on a system, is uh, the select button on it is the put in a coin button. So it's like you have unlimited coins. So uh, it makes the game a bit easier. You'll be able to like beat the game eventually because you'll just keep putting coins in and just uh, just wither the. The enemy is down, the level's down, whatever. Um, but yeah, the X-Men game is pretty awesome. There's a lot of, uh, I guess it was a, a Japanese game that was translated uh, into English. And there's some pretty awesome, uh, just like um, translational uh, mishaps in the game. It's uh, pretty awesome. So that's a cool one to play too. Um, I was playing, I was playing a lot of uh, Super Metroid which is an amazing video game, but I'm just at a at a spot that I can't like I can't figure out how to like um, if anybody's played the game, you know it's a game where you have to you have to keep finding um, like upgrades to your suit so you can get to different levels. And now I've got this upgrade where you can kind of like fly almost like you got it. You can like kind of like do a, a jump a jump in the air and you can kind of keep keep jumping. But I can't get the rhythm down to get up to like. Um, like there's a, a spot where you're, there's another upgrade that I need and uh, you're supposed to be able to like do this like kind of crazy jump to get up there and I can't figure it out so I kind of stopped playing it for a bit because it was just frustrating the hell out of me but up until then like I put like uh, a lot of hours into that game. Another game I played a lot of, put a lot of hours in was uh, Chrono Trigger. That is an amazing game, an RPG uh, for Super Nintendo. And yeah, there's this crazy, uh, like you start off in like a fantasy world. I'm not gonna tell you too much, but anyway, you get into doing like a, a lot of time traveling and just like things that happen and times mess up other things and you're trying to set things right. And uh, there's just like a lot of just craziness in that game. It is the, it's the best RPG that I've played so far. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, we've been playing some, uh, just playing some Street Fighter, some Mortal Kombat, stuff like that. And I uh, got some retro games on there, uh, some retro hockey games too I've been playing, uh, some Blades of Steel and uh, NHL 94. So I haven't played much uh, the last few weeks again because I've been doing a bunch of editing. But yeah, I was playing a lot of games for those, uh, for that. Um, what else should I say? Um, right now I'm into uh, uh, 80s music. Not like... Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, like, I don't really download a lot of music or anything like that, but just uh, listening to, uh, there's a station here that plays a lot of uh, retro music, a lot of 80s stuff, uh, Jack FM. So I've been listening to a lot of uh, Jack FM, and 
Um, also on Spotify, I've been listening to some uh, like '80s uh, uh, playlists and stuff like that. So yeah, into the into the '80s, into some uh, '80s synthesizer music. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what I've been listening to, I guess. Um, if you guys are into that, let me know what are some of your faves. What else are people saying? Long dogs ask me if I have a chili sharing partner, hot sauce sharing partner, and no, I don't. I uh, no, I guess I don't. But I've gotten um, some peppers from some people recently. I guess um, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess over the history of the channel, I've gotten the most peppers from uh, Slim's uh, Chili Company just because they're here in London. Uh, so he's getting peppers for his sauces. He's like giving me some, and uh, I've done some crazy stuff with those. Um, when I did the one uh, Guinness record, I got some uh, some peppers from uh, Salem's Lot uh, Salem's Lot Scary Hot Sauces uh, from Jeff Salem. There, he got me some peppers, some ghost peppers for that. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, recently Pepper North got some for my other Guinness record. Um, when I do some more Guinness records, I'm gonna wait till uh, some uh, peppers are growing are growing here locally in Canada so that they're easier to get for the event. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk to those guys again, I guess, see if they got some peppers for me here. Um, Heiko's hot sauces from Ottawa said uh, he could hook me up with some uh, some peppers sometime, so maybe I'll get some from him. What is it, kitty? Oh, my kitty, she needs some pot so bad. And um, yeah, so I'll, I don't know. I can, it's tough for me to get peppers right now in Canada. A lot of people um, don't want to send peppers to Canada because I guess you're not supposed to because of the, um, I don't know, you're not supposed to send like fruit and vegetables over the border without certain licenses or whatever. I don't know. So people don't like doing that and it's expensive to, ship across the border so stuff like that and um for trading sauces i'm getting a lot of sauces sent to me by companies which is awesome and uh actually um yeah i got a i got a hookup with uh hot sauces com. i guess he said um you give me some sauces just let them know right now i have like a crazy amount of sauces um mo like uh yeah, a lot of them I got sent to me. Some of them I bought because I want to try them. I like hot sauces. I like trying them out. So, um, yeah, I got hot sauces uh, coming out of my ears right now. Coming, out, There's hot sauces. I got a lot of them. There's hot sauces in my fridge. There's hot sauces in my cupboard and in my basement. So before I get some more, I need to, like, finish some up. But I am going to, uh, well, most likely going to Chicago Hot Sauce Expo um, in June. So... Got, got a lot of hot sauce to, to eat up before then. So what else? Long Dong likes uh, <laughs> Long Dong. <laughs> long Dog likes the uh, likes the ending of my uh, my zombie apocalypse uh, video. So yeah, it made him smile. Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, check that video out if you haven't seen it on Hot Reviews. Um, yeah, that's that's one that I liked. I had fun doing that one. Um, yeah, that's that's a video that I'm proud of. It's one of the most watched uh, videos on the channel now. Um, I don't know. I think it's like I don't know, like maybe it's like maybe like the fifth most watched video, something like that. I don't know. A lot of a lot of people are watching it. I guess a lot of people are searching. For that sauce, because it's been on hot ones and that, they uh, they find my video and they watch it. So yeah, that's cool. Lawn dog, lawn dog has asked me a lot of questions here still. So, uh, are you a computer guy? A computer guy can usually tell us what processor is using. Da 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 da. Kind of.
I don't know what you're talking about here. My, are you a computer guy? Computer guy can usually tell us what processor is using and what type of solid state drive is using. Does any of this ring a bell? I don't know. No, I'm not a, I'm not a computer guy. My computer is, uh, I guess my computer is old now. I don't know, like a lot of the, I'm trying to get this uh, OBS software to work. That's the uh, streaming software. And in order to get like a quality better than the one that I have now, which isn't really that great, um, I basically need a newer computer, I guess. Um, I'm not, I don't, I don't know, like computers just like get out of date so fast, I feel like this computer, uh, you know, it was like one of the cheap, cheapest computers I could get, uh, to be honest, at the time, it's a laptop. Um, it was like four, four or five years ago, I think I got this one. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, not real, like, I don't know, it depends who you're talking to. If you're talking to like an older person who like didn't grow up with uh, computer technology then and I'm a computer guy like I can figure out the computer stuff right like um, uh, place I used to work they used to call they used to think I was a computer guy um, if people had computers at other other uh, locations to this company and they wanted uh, if they were having something something was going wrong with their software they needed to know how to do something on the computer uh, they would call me that was uh, part of my position there, I guess. So I would like talk them through it. So I was a computer guy to those people, but to most people, uh, I'm not a computer guy. Like to people who are in their uh, like 30s and younger, <laughs> I'm not a computer guy. Maybe some of the, I don't know. But people who are like, you know, just, just because, you know, there's a real gap between, you know, I'm not trying to be ageist or anything, but there's a gap between people who like, uh, like the internet came out when, or you know, the internet came out like a long time ago, but the internet was like popularized when I was in high school. So with my schooling, I got a bit of, you know, uh, uh, education on that, but like people who were like older than that, that didn't really have computers in school and stuff, like, you know, uh, my parents, like they didn't know how to use the email or do anything on the internet for a really long time. So to those people, I'm a computer guy, but to anybody who, uh, you know, anybody else, uh, I'm not a computer guy, I guess. So yeah, that's, that's my ramble for right now about being a computer guy. So uh, yeah, Sim Simpsons was a classic game. Yeah, it was. It's uh, pretty awesome. I've, uh, I've played it through a couple, ga uh, a couple times and that is an amazing game. Sharing hot sauces and da 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 da. Yeah, long, uh, long dog. It's got some, uh, yeah, it's got some friends who are, think he's crazy. I don't know, like none of my friends are really into the hot sauce scene and stuff too, so they think I'm pretty crazy. That's kind of how I started the channel, cause. Uh, they thought it was crazy, and so I made some crazy videos and whatever. Lawn, lawn dog is asking what kind of computer I have. I don't even really know. It's like a, like a, it says um, Azus on it. I don't know. Is that even what the company's called? But yeah, he's saying I need to upgrade my computer. Da 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 da. All right, so I don't know just a conversation between Lawn, Lawn Dog and I right now. So uh, yeah, I can just answer more of your questions later, I guess. And uh, right now I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go do something else. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, we are gonna have a video come out on Monday, I'm trying to get the Salem's Lot Scary Sauces video out. So I gotta go finish editing that. Um, check it out, 8.30 Eastern time on Monday. Um, It'll be good. That's the one that people voted for. I, uh, I've been putting out a poll on Sundays to see um, to see what people want to see. Uh, so Monday is the day that you guys uh, pick the video. So that's what um, that's what I'm trying to do because you guys picked the Salem's Lot video. I'm going to put that out. 
I'm going to put out another video on Wednesday.